Two-thirds of the African workforce are involved in agriculture, and most of those people live off-grid. Their yields trail world averages by about 50%, which means Africa is only contributing to about 15% of global agriculture output. And in Kenya, it's, it's even worse. Over 80% of the land is not suitable for rain-fed agriculture. Only 3% you know, of Kenyans actually irrigate. So there's this big divide between how many farmers irrigate and how many farmers need to irrigate to become productive. We had nothing green here. It was always dry. Like you see, we use like 20 to 30 minutes to get water from the well. It, it was very hard work for me, for us all. So. so we went to GSMA and we said, we're gonna do two things that no one else in the world has done. First, we're gonna bring the cost of solar powered irrigation down by 90%. And then second, we're gonna finance it under our Pays You Grow program. And GSMA said, let's do it. Sankasha nidi amua shauri ya ku kwa kuwa ni ni kurahisisha kazi ile ni nafanya sababu kama wakati huu mimi na naona si gumu kupalilia namna ya kupanda hii kitu na nyunyusia vizuri kila mahali na ni rahisi baada ya kubeba kutoka shini Mobile money has allowed us to scale quickly without having to worry about cash transfers. It keeps our customers safer, keeps our employees safer, and allows us to have more visibility into the way that our customers use our products. So the pump system works with the, with the solar. We have solar panels, we have battery, we connect the machine like this, and water goes to the tank, and that's it. And what the future of this looks like is us being able to get real-time information from the weather, from the product, from the soil, to be able to give real-time customized advice to the farmer so that farmer can maximize the value of their farm. Before we had this pump, we, have, we, we didn't have any harvest. We planted maize, we planted beans, we could not get anything for about three years now. And with the pump, we get produce every year. We have a solution that could directly improve the livelihoods of the 500 million smallholder farming families around the world. I think access to connectivity, access to water, and access to high value nutritious foods are basic human rights. And that's what we're trying to do here.